Welcome back, everyone, to On the Rocks with Newell and Dalton and the Mockingbird. And the Mockingbird. <laughs> Sorry, we're, our, my brain's a little sporadic today. Yes. Uh, we have a lot going on. We're going to have a shorter show today because Joey, it's junior recital hour yeah. today. Ooh. So, very excited. Six o'clock tonight mm -hmm. in Huntington. Yes. So, catch it if you're here on campus. But next week, we're going to have a fantastic show. We are going to play all of M. Ross Perkins' new record on vinyl, front to back. So in order to prep for that, we're going to we brought in some vinyl today to practice because I haven't used mm -hmm. this uh, in quite some time. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. But bear in mind if you hear some uh, dead air or pops and cracks as we try and figure everything out. But Joey, do you have anything to say? How was, how was your week? Uh, it was fun. Went to a concert on Friday. Uh, how was that? Beanie from. It was super cool. It was awesome. If there was a Lawrence, a Josh would always play them first year on his show. Mm -hmm. um, I never really listened to him before, and Troy's like, "I'm going to Lawrence," and I was like, "I guess I'll go." Concerts are fun. Mm -hmm. I went, and it was fun. What type of music? Um, kind of like soul pop, kind of. That's the best way to describe it. All right. All righty then. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, I for the first record, I'm going to play two songs off the new Ghost record. Uh, if you haven't listened to the new records, very much 80s, like, dad rock type of vibe. Very different from uh, what you're probably used to from Ghost in the past. And then after that, uh, I have an ABC record and some Tom's Dolby. So we'll probably play some uh, 80s stuff after that. So Ooh. hopefully everything, everybody is fine with that, just keeping the, uh, the theme of 80s. I'm not today. okay with that. Oh, sorry. The 80s were a very tumultuous time. Really? Yeah. You're going to bring that up right now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I couldn't, can't really believe that you do that. Anyways, I'm going to try and get this to work. I'm going to keep your mic on so you can kind of describe uh, me sweating and figuring out how to get this to work over here. So right. I have to get it on the third track and then take it off and do the last track on this side. So here we go. All right. So oh, this is Spillways, by the way. Spillways. This is Dalton. He is moving the needle. Let's go down. Does the lever not work? Or, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you hear anything? I cannot hear anything at all. Oh, prop. That same thing we did earlier. What was that, Joey? Just something about Attack on Titan? Yeah, I, I've never watched it. I've never been interested in it. I probably, I might watch it someday, but I'm not mm -hmm. holding out hope. But uh, they have, they're on their final season. Right. And it, but it's been split up into three parts. I guess part two ended the other day. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, part three of the final season is coming in 2023. So that doesn't part make any sense. Part one of the final season came out in 2021. Part two just finished in 2022. And part three is coming out in 2023. Like, why? why Sounds like a cash grab. Why not just have a final season, dog? Mm. Or have a, what, is this the fourth season? I think it's the fourth season. Why not have season four, five, and six? Yeah. Ta-da! Instead of final season part one, final season part two, final season part three. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I couldn't I, tell I, you. I, I don't get it. Anyways, anime figured, fans out there, let me know. We figured out the record player. Had the there's a pitch knob. I don't know why. Uh, I guess in case the record goes faster or slower, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Figured that out. Got it in tune for everyone. Uh, this next song is probably my favorite song on this uh, record. It's called Watcher in the Sky. It's the very last track on the A side. Ooh. Once again, bear with me as I get it started. All righty, that, oh, was that was so good. Watcher in the Sky, off the Ghost new record, Impera. So Joey, mm -hmm. we haven't been here for a while. We have not. A lot of things have happened since then. A lot has happened. For example, we had the Creative Arts Workshop. That did happen. Uh, last weekend where I performed a MIDI band. And if you've been listening to the show... I heard it actually went really good. It went really well, which is like, uh, unlike what I was saying on the show. I forget so, who was. I think it was... Was it Sam? I don't know. I was talking to somebody who was there, and I was like... Busty. And I was like... Did you see me band? And they were like, yeah. I was like, was it good? And they were like, yeah, it was actually really good. What about Allison? Because Allison was like, yeah, Dalton kept saying it's going to be bad, it's going to be bad. And I was like, no, it's not. And well, it here's the thing. I, I had to get up super early for it because I had to be here at um, 8 because we had to go get our stuff out of Renner or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I she was still sleeping. And I said, hey, don't worry about, uh, like, just come come over to whenever you want. Um, it should start, like, stuff should start around 10. So, like, you don't have to see her performance. I don't think it's going to be that great anyways. Um, but then we got our stuff over here and around 830, we, uh, had a sound check and all of us, like, we played through some of the songs and like all of us in the band just like looked at each other and like, oh, we we're like, oh my God, <laughs> we were like, none of us were expecting it to sound 
uh, lake that way in that room over there. So then I texted Alice in the media and I was like, you should probably come now, actually. <laughs> and sadly, she missed our first two songs, but she got to see the rest of them. So, And then our actual concert at the Fountains is going to be what a, such a weird time. It's on a Thursday. It's April 21st, Thursday at noon by the Fountains. Very odd time for a concert. So skip your classes if you want to come see us because I have to skip mine to perform why why that time i don't know and there's a band performing before us too i mean at, at like 11 30 that's so weird i mean i have a concert at the fountains on friday but mm -hmm. like it's because you know it's jazz week you know there aren't any conservatory classes really they're supposed to happen they're not technically canceled but a lot of the rooms are being used so not a lot's happening that day in the con but mm. but yeah that's still just such a weird time yeah very odd time i don't know if they're going to change it but as of right now april 21st noon at the fountains so Try to be there. Yeah, ch try to be there. Check us out if you want no to. No promises. We're playing a Minecraft song, so you know. Are you, you know, playing Big Step? Yes, we're playing Big yeah. Step. Yeah, I'll be yes. there. Yes. I'll be there. It'll be an interesting. It's kind of a good song for us because there's not really too much going on in that song, and for the four of us, I think we're we can probably. You can make Big Step happen. Yeah, we can make it happen. Do you, have the, happen. do you have the vinyl with Big Step on it? I know. I didn't know there was a vinyl with Big Step on I'm it. I'm sure there's a vinyl with Big Step on it. Hmm. Lena Ray, such such a good artist. We've played some of her stuff on here before. We played Other Side. But anyways, we're going to play uh, another song. This is off ABC's record of How to Be a Zillionaire. And the song is How to Be a Millionaire. Or not a mil billionaire. One of the two. I don't know. But we're going to play it. So once again, bear with me. It's the second track on their record. So uh, let's give it a spin. How to Be a Millionaire by ABC. Off the record, How to Be a Zillionaire. How right? to Be a Zillionaire. I believe so. Let me, let me double check here. But let's see. Yes, how to be in parentheses a millionaire off the record. How to be a zillionaire. Someone, some, someone made a mistake in the marketing department on that True. one. True, from the bag. Should have just called both of them the same name, you know. Really, yeah. Joey was just in here talking about the uh, the new game, Super uh, Auto yeah, Pets. Tell, tell the listeners about Super Auto Pets. So, I, I feel like it's a family friendly game that it is. everybody can play, including grandma. So yes, it is a totally free mobile game. Uh, you can get it on iPhone, Android what have you, and basically you start off with a little shop of some pets, and you have 10 gold, and you can buy some pets, and then go up against teams with other pets, and each little pet, and it's like cartoony and cool, there's no violence or anything, as much as you think battling pets would include, mm -hmm. um, but each little pet has its own ability, and each round you get more and more powerful pets, and you can level up your pets, get even greater pets, and the whole goal is to win 10 rounds and you have 10 lives and the more the farther you go along the way the more lives you lose when if you lose a round so you mm -hmm. can lose a couple so like if you lose in the first few rounds you lose like one or two hearts but if you lose in the later, later rounds you lose three hearts so yeah that's that's really it and then there, it's such a steep learning curve like there's so much more to it than you think but it's really, really fun and i like it and i'm playing it right now so. so you're saying it's the same type of difficulty as elden ring basically yes okay cool Dude, I was playing Elden Ring this morning. There was a dragon kicking my butt, but I got him. I got him. What can I say? Just a good gamer. Anyways, this is uh, this one. I'm going to look at the record. Hold on. <laughs> this is off Thomas Dolby's record, The Golden Age of Wireless, and it is the opening track. We all know it. We all love it. This is She Blinded Me With Science, which, fun fact, has the uh, English equivalent to uh, Bill Nye on it. He's the guy that goes... Uh, with science or something like that. I don't know. He couldn't sing in time, which is really funny. And that's why his uh, he says it's so randomly in the record. A little fun fact for you. That's so fun. Thank you. People are people by Depeche Mode. And before that was uh, She Blinded Me With Science by Thomas Dolby. Is Depeche Mode or Depeche Mode? I don't know. I've, I've, heard, my it, mom, I've heard it pronounced both ways. My so. mom, who played Depeche Mode, that's how I say it, religiously growing up, called it Depeche Mode, so... She loved the song Personal Jesus mm. by them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Anyways, those few songs, those last few songs were all played on vinyl. Tune in next week. We're going to be playing, just a reminder, we're going to be playing all of Michael Perkins' new album. How do you pronounce it? I, uh, e Pluribus? E Pluribus Emros? E Pluribus Emros. I want a giveaway. Uh, so, yeah, kind of ironic that I got one of his records signed by him when he's a good friend of the show. The, so, uh, uh, but yeah, so we can play all that front to back next weekend yeah next my weekend. shirt that i got in eighth grade when i went to washington dc said e pluribus unum on it it's like some it's on some seal i don't know it's like the official seal of like the united states e yeah pluribus unum. you know it's like united we stand or something some seal some seal anyways make sure you tune in next week 
front to back. It's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll get some friends in because I know uh, that post, a lot of people are like, listening party, listening party. So I don't know. Maybe we can plan something. You heard it here in. first. We will have the Amra. No, we won't. <laughs> we can, though, if you want. I'd be down. Show up. I'd, I'd love it. I'd love to have him back on the show. Oh, you were saying as in Adam Ross will be back next week. Yeah. I was just saying it as a joke, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? He lives just right around the corner. He so does. he texted me that last night. He was like, yep, yeah, because we were talking about it uh, last night. And he was like, yeah, I just I made the record at my house just right around the corner from Capitol. And I was like, very cool. So, get him in. Get him in. I really could. Just be a simple, simple be message. Fun. Get, some, get some developer commentary each track. Maybe. Maybe we should plan it. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we should do that. It'd be kind of weird to play his music. It'd be like kind of cringy to play his music while he's here, though. Like the entire record while he's here. I don't know. I just think it'd be fun to have him here too, and like, you know, talk about the record. Talk about like, oh, that song's not cool. What's your inspiration? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm spitballing. I'm spitballing. We'll think about it. Call me, call me an eighth grade bully because I'm spitballing. You're an eighth grade bully. Yeah. Joey and I are probably going to be leaving. Here in the next like 20, 25 minutes, because once again, Joey has his recital tonight. Mm-hmm. What do you, you know? What I could do, Joey? This is all up to you. Could bring in my little recorder, because I know you got that one song that you're really excited to play. It has like Satch on it and stuff, right? Yeah. If you wanted to, I could, you know, record the song and then include it in the episode if you really wanted me to. Uh, you can bring your recorder. Yeah. I will give you full permission to record it, and we'll see. It's up to you. Let's see if it turns out well. Mm-hmm. You know, we can make the episode a little bit longer. You know, have a little. We call it Joey's recital. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah. If you will. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. You can make your recorder and record it, and then if I'm happy with the performance, I'll be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Or that sucked. No. Okay. Which hopefully doesn't come to pass, but. I don't think it'll suck. I think you will do an amazing job. Knock on mahogany. Along with Matt Miller, correct? Yep. Joint recital, baby. Very, very excited. Anyways, we're going to just play a little bit more music called today. Joey's got to go get dressed in his uh, his suit. So, anyways, this is one of my favorite, like, 80s songs that I've no one knows about for some reason. I, I, like, you go on, like, any radio station that plays 80 music, I guarantee you they won't play this song. This is Obsession by Animotion. Mr. Roboto by Styx. I'm a firm believer that Styx only has two good songs, that being one of them and the other one being Renegade. And before anybody messaged me about Come Sail Away, you're just it's wrong. Cheesy. It's, it's cheesy. You're cheesy. just wrong. It's not good. Only Mr. Roboto and only Renegade. They're only good songs. But anyway, this Anyways, is the podcast portion. Mini podcast. podcast. Portion, mini podcast. Probably going to last like 10 minutes. Yeah, but, probably. Um, so, last Tuesday, I went to a local establishment and the, uh, esteemed in the jazz community called Park Street Tavern. Yeah, it's uh, near High Street, right? Yeah. Uh, we went there. It's where we saw uh, Eastwood. Yes. Um, you know, and every Tuesday they have a jam session, and it is sometimes held ran by the, one of the people that teaches here, really super sweet guy, and Isaiah and I were like, okay, we're going to go over, say hi, bring an instrument, and it was also Isaiah's birthday that night. He turned 21 at midnight, so we were going to stay until midnight so he could get a drink. And so... We go there, and Oops. I brought my instrument, as they did not, and then one of the guys was like, oh, you're going to go up and play? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll play a tune, I'll play a tune. So I came up, played a song, Super Simple Blues, and I was like, this is super easy, but I know it, and it'll make me sound good, because it's easy, and I'm good at it. So did, I play you, it. did you have a drummer up there, just plays a beat, and you just kind of go for it? Yeah, it was usually the, it's the guy that teaches here that's on drums, but it was the guy that was just sitting in for a song, too, on drums, and then, like, one of the saxophone players who's usually always there in the house band, and then, like, a guy on bass, piano, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just a jam session band. And so I go up, I play. It's great, you know? You might have saw a video of it. I did. Um... And then I get off stage, song's over. A guy comes up to me who is friends with Zach, the, the guy that I know that teaches you that, helps run that. And he's like, oh, that was so great, man. That was so great. And he said his name was Foley. I didn't think anything of it. Okay. But uh, he's like, you're really you're really killing Cat. You know, you sound great. I need a trumpet player for something. Can I, can I get your information? And he hand me his phone. I was like, sure. And then I put my email, my name, my phone number, all that jazz. I was like, thanks, man. I'll be, I'll be in contact. I was like, cool. Wow, that was so easy. I made a, made a nice contact. Probably gonna like, play a song or something. I don't know. I get an email Thursday morning. It's okay. Like, hey, Joey. Um, Foley, I'm from Berkshire Tavern. I don't know if you know this, 
But I was Miles Davis' bassist from 1997 till 1991 when he passed away. Like, he was his bassist, like, recorded music with him, toured with him. And he had such a unique and pioneering style of bass where he used piccolo bass strings. So he played lead guitar on a bass. Wow. And he was, like, pedals and stuff, but, like, it sounds like a lead guitar, but he's playing bass. And uh, so, yeah, that happened. He's like, we're having a rehearsal tonight. I'd love if you could come by, sit in, play some tunes. And I was like, yeah, I can, I, I, <laughs> I can do that. And, like, you know, I'm, I go around and tell people, like, I'm rehearsing with Miles Davis' former bassist tonight. This is crazy. This is insane. And, like, you know, I see, I'm, I'm telling one of my friends, and Kendall, guitar player, walks by, and he hears me. He says, Miles Davis' is bassist? And I said, yeah. He's like, who? And I was like, oh, it's Foley. And he's like, so, like, one of his actual, like, bassists. Like, I know who that is. And I was like, okay, this is a big deal. And so Thursday night, I go to their rehearsal. It's in some, like, uh rented out office space with like a garage in the back go in the back sit down two other horn players meet everybody get acquainted super nice chill vibes very mm -hmm. nice guy play through some tunes and he is just so happy he is so happy with how we sound already on one reversal he's like, so you guys, you're just sight reading stuff or yeah he's like you guys are killing you guys are already sounding this good imagine how good we sound after more rehearsals and then like after that he was like yeah see you next week so i'm in his group now that's awesome rehearsing every thursday and then we're doing two shows a week throughout my well, that's sweet. Yep. So that's, yeah, that's that. Well, I'm going to have to catch you in May because I'll be here. Not for the first half of May, but I'll be here for the second half of May. I'll be here too. There we go. Playing shows. So yeah, that's my exciting thing that happened. I almost forgot to mention it. No, that's <laughs> awesome, crazy, Joey. It's, it's such a nice thing. But yeah, and it's going to be such a great experience. And yeah, I'm, I'm pumped, thrilled. Yeah, I'm excited for you. Me as well. Well, wow. I'm assuming you're playing Miles Davis stuff. No, or, no it's like no? the music that he wrote because he, oh, okay. he plays a lot of keys now. Uh, he's a bass player. He's a drum player. He played drums for George Clinton, which was a super big artist in the 90s. Um, so, yeah. yeah. But, you know, he usually plays keys. Really good keyboard player. And he, like, has his own music that he's written that's so unbelievably good. It's, like, kind of like neo soul uh, funk. It's, dang, I'm excited. It's killing. Can't wait to hear that. Yeah, it'll be it'll be really good. <laughs> mm. So I'm excited for that, for sure. Well, this is, may or may not be the end of the episode. If there's uh, still like 10 minutes after this, that means uh, Joey let me uh, play his song on the show. So, right, Joe? Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Who knows? We'll see. And you'll find out here soon yeah. as a listener. Yeah. So anyways, this has been On the Rocks with Dylan Dalton. And the Mockingbird. We'll catch you guys next week, once again, playing all of M. Ross Perkins' new album on vinyl, front to back, next weekend. Be there or be square. Catch Joey's Recital Hour. I keep seeing Recital Hour. Catch Joey's Recital here at 6, six in, in Huntington with Matt Miller. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.